Hi, I'm Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, and I'm going to show you how to put together a butterfly card using the Watercolor Wings stamp set and the Butterfly Thinlets. So let's get started. What you're going to need to make this card is a pair a piece of Melon Mambo by five and a half by four and a quarter, a piece of Peekaboo Peach by five and three fourths, and a square of Daffodil Delight, which we're going to cut with our layering squares. You're going to need a piece of vellum and a piece of white cardstock so that we can stamp and then cut our butterfly. So I've got my base card. I'm going to put that aside for now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my piece of Daffodil Delight with my layering squares. And this is the largest of the layering squares piece that came from right here in the set. And it has the scalloped edge. And then we're going to use this embossing folder, which is the Petal Burst embossing folder on our Peekaboo Peach. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I embossed my Peekaboo Peach with this really nice embossing folder, which is the Lovely Petals. I'm going to put that aside, and I also cut a square, my square from my um, layering, my layering squares die cut. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that aside. Okay. So now I want to stamp my butterfly, and here's my piece of vellum that I'm going to use later on. I'm going to take a piece of the Whisper White cardstock. And I have my large butterflies already set up on some large blocks. And I believe these are blocks E. Blocks E. And the first thing I'm going to stamp is going to be my base color. And I'm going to use this stamp here. And I have all my colors right here. So I'm going to use the... What am I I'm going to use a peekaboo peach and I'm using a stamping pierce mat here with a piece of the stamping up paper cut in a quarter to protect my mat and this is a really good idea when you're using um, photopolymer stamps because it gives it a very nice um, foundation so you get a very crisp image. Okay, so there's my first piece. I use my stamping scrub to clean my stamp. And then my next color is going to be the, the Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to use this color with my Flirty Flamingo. And I'm using this this stamp here. I just line it up, lay it right over because it's photopolymer and I can see exactly where my image lines up. I'm going to press it. So you can see how very nicely that showed up. Clean my stamp, and now I'm going to use this large stamp here, and let me go ahead and close my ink pads. With my Melon Mambo, this is a really nice bright pink, love this color, nice and juicy, again I just 
lay it over my image. I can line it up very nicely. And straight down, straight up, and there you go. Gorgeous looking, gorgeous looking butterfly. So for the middle of my butterfly, there's this little piece that is in the stamp set. And I like to use Early Espresso. It's a nice brown color and it just gives it the right, the right tone. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stamp that. Okay, so you can stop right here and you can choose to cut out your butterfly just like this and you can put it on your card. But I'm going to go a step further and I'm going to cut out my butterfly using the butterfly framelits. And this is the framelit I'm going to use. So I'm going to lay this over and I'm going to cut this out with my with my big shot. I want to take a minute here and I just want to show you the different options you have with your butterfly. You can use this framelit here which cuts out your butterfly beautifully if you just wanted to use that image. And what I would recommend is using the magnetic platform for your big shot, your base plate, and with using your magnetic platform, when you set your paper on top of it, your framelit snaps very easily in place. You can position it, and it will stay in place for when you put your top plate over, and then you use your big shot. The other option you have, and this is what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to use this um, die which is very intricate and I recommend that you use the new Big Shot platform which if you can see it actually has right here you can see this this level where there is a built-in shim in the center of it to make sure that you always get a very good cut so you layer your new Big Shot platform. This is a precision base plate, which is especially made for cutting these intricate dies. You lay that down. You lay your paper, your die right over where you want to cut, and your top plate. And we're going to run that through the big shot and I'll show you what happens. Hey, okay, I'm back from cutting out my butterfly using the big shot. And I failed to mention that with the brand new big shot platform, there is another smaller platform called the thin die adapter platform. That needs to be layered with your precision base plate. So I forgot to add that and I wanted to make sure I let you know. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out my butterfly and I wanted to show you how easy it is. Here's my butterfly, it's been cut out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dye brush. I'm going to pop out and you can see I still have the paper in there and there's lots of little pieces that have to come out. I'm going to put this down on this foam pad and I'm going to use the dye brush and just very gently run it across the paper. You can see all the little pieces from the butterfly come out. And here you go. There's your butterfly. Okay?
So now that we have our butterfly cut, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ink and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some color around the edges because the edges are showing up kind of white and I want my butterfly to pop. Now another way you could have done it is you could have just cut this or stamped it on colored paper and then cut it out and that's certainly an option but I kind of like just the way it was going to to show up this way. So I'm using some Melon Mambo and one of my sponges and I'm just going around and I'm just carefully kind of dabbing the edges so then I have my Melon Mambo along the edge. Now I'm going to use my Stamping Right marker and it has two sides. It has a very skinny side and it's got a very thick side. I'm going to use my thick side which is kind of like a paintbrush and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the rest of the white areas. And you can see this is what I'm painting. I'm painting this white area right here. Okay, because I don't want any white showing up. Now my, um, and there you go. See how pretty that is? Now my little, um, my little butterfly body was a little bit off from how I cut the die, if you can kind of see that. But that's not a big deal because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re-stamp it. There, and I've got his little body. So it's all covered and I have a very good I have a very good insect body now on my butterfly. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and clean my stamp. So the next piece that I'm going to cut is I'm going to cut my the back of my butterfly with a piece of vellum. And for that, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use just the plain um, die. And I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, I used my Big Shot, and I wanted to show you the layers that I use. Here's my top plate, here's my vellum, and here is the die that I use. On the bottom, I'm using the magnetic platform, and you can see how nice my image sticks to my paper, and I just punched that out, and there it is, just beautiful. So I'm going to put my, put my die aside. And I have my piece. I'm going to go ahead and put these aside. Because now what I have is I have my butterfly and a really nice piece of vellum on the back, which kind of makes all those colors really pop. So, how am I going to put my vellum on? Well, I'm going to use some of my mini glue dots and I'm going to stick one here in the middle. I'm going to stick one down by its body and then I'm going to stick my, my vellum right on top of that. So there you go. Now I'm going to want to put some um, antennas on my little on my little uh, butterfly, and I'm going to use this black thread that Stamping Out has come up with in the new catalog. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my scissors. I'm going to snip oh, about two inches of this pretty black thread. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to pinch it 
so that I have two little two little uh, antennae and I'm going to use one of my glue dots and I'm going to put my glue dot right there at the head of my little butterfly you can see there's my little there's my little glue dot I'm going to take my antenna antennae potato patata however you want to call it I'm just going to stick that right on that little thing and look at that isn't that cute I've got a little I got little antennae okay so we've got the most important part of the card done now which is our butterfly um, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our card together now one of the things that I would like to do with um, when I have a square like this is I like to use a scoring board to make some very nice uh, borders around my card and let me show you how I'm going to do that okay so I have my scoreboard out and it has um, 1 to 12 on one side and about 1 to 12 on the other side there is the Stamping Up scoreboard actually comes with a scoring pen and there's two ends to it. There's kind of a big fat circle end and there's a skinnier circle end. We want to use this skinnier circle. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my square up against the, the corner and I'm just going to use the very, very closest little um, groove to score. And when I score, I'm going to start kind of in the middle. I'm going to go all the way down and I'm not going to go to the end. I'm going to just go short of the end and then I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to pick up that next corner, score, just till you get to the end, turn and score. So let's do that. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. So let's say, here it is, looks pretty good. Okay, if you can see the little score lines. So let's say I went off a little bit with my with my score and I kind of uh, maybe went into the middle, like right here. How do I fix that? Okay, let me show you. Let me find my I had to find my stamping pierce mat. But what I would do is I would turn it over and where I see the little area that I may have gone over, which isn't very noticeable, but it's kind of right about here, I would lay it and I would just very carefully just kind of rub it on the other side and you'll pop it back up so it's no longer, so it no longer shows that it's been scored on that side. Okay? So if you if you kind of by mistake or as you're scoring kind of go off a little bit it's not lost just turn it around on your piercing mat use the very big end and very gently just kind of rub it back rub it flat back back into place and it'll be good to go. Okay, so now we have that piece. Done. Let's go up. Let me get all the pieces and we'll put them all together. Okay, I got all the pieces for my butterfly and I'm going to go ahead and put it together. So I'm going to use some snail adhesive and I'm going to turn my, my uh, embossed piece around and I'm just going to put some pieces and I, I like to be generous with my snail because I don't want my card falling apart when I send it off to someone. Okay, 
Press that into place. I'm going to pop this up on some stamping dimensionals so it has a little bit of um, dimension. So let me get my dimensionals. I'm going to um, turn it over. Put my dimensionals around my square. Again, I I like to be um, generous with my dimensionals, but I also make sure that I use absolutely every piece. Here's a sheet of dimensionals that I've pretty much used everything, but even these end pieces um, I will use to, to um, do my cards. I, I don't like to waste my uh, my supplies and my products because they are very they are expensive and um, I do like to be uh, as careful as possible. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in the middle of our card like that. Okay, so you can see how nice that looks. Okay, and we're going to put our butterfly. And I like to bend up the wings a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and use the glue dots and what I do is I just kind of like peel back my paper I grab my I grab my glue dot that's right there and I just press it down the body of my butterfly and I'll put three at least three just to get make sure I have good adhesion and these things are pretty sticky and I'm going to turn it a little bit to the side like this. I'm going to press it. And there you go. Look at that. He's got his neat little antennas that we made with the um, black thread. Pretty wings. Really nice kind of glossomer look with the, uh, with the vellum wings on the back. Here's my first card, so there you go. That wasn't really hard to do. You could make a couple of them in, um, in, a, in about uh, 30 minutes or so. I also wanted to show you some um, variations on the theme. I did the same thing with this butterfly. Um, I uh, stamped it on white paper and then I went ahead and, and filled in the white with the, uh, with the ink and put it on the vellum and then I used some of the different embossing folders and I used this same embossing folder, the petal embossing folder on white only I took a dauber, sponge dauber and I sponged it so that you could kind of see you could kind of see the um, that texture come in and then this card was simply Daffodil Delight um, with a stamp that gives it a nice background. I put a little bit of the brand new um, burlap ribbon and you can see some of the gold uh, thread and then I cut this butterfly. It isn't stamped but it is um, embossed. It's vellum with gold embossing on it and I even embossed the little the little gold, um, little gold body there, and it also has the little black. It has the little black uh, antennae, and you can see the the gold thread. Just a very, very simple, uh, simple card. But again, using your framelits and playing around with the different ways that you can um, either color your butterflies, cut out your butterflies, and um, and add them and add them to your to your car. So hope you enjoyed that. That's Cat Chancellor with Stamp Up um, Stamp Art Connection and uh, have a great day.